Alrighty, we have returned. Founix, thanks for those 100 bits. Hold, man. And Wolfman, thanks for the 30 bits as well. Appreciate your guys' generosity. Much love. Uh, let's try to get one of our Delirium uh, kills done. Let's do it uh, the Mega Satan style, too. Who do you want to get done here? We got Samson done. Let's go for Lazarus. Hey, what's up, Xander? Nice to see you. Whoa, he slid through the rocks. What a guy. Okay, resistance right early on is going to be good. What does he think this pill does? Oh, no! That's the first time I've ever had a paralysis pill actually wreck me like that. Well, other than that really rough uh, start to that room, this is a really promising start. Little chess can drop anything. Pronotacular, thanks for the 200 bits, man. Cheers to you. Appreciate that generosity. Thank you all for making this content possible with your time and support. Okay, I believe we have uh, two Dark Rocks on the floor so far. So if we find any bombs, definitely want to use those. What's in the box? Now, dying on Lazarus is the end of the world. We don't want to die yet. We want to die uh, when we have uh, hearts on the floor to protect our resource. Okay, there's one bomb. Whoa, yeah, I saw that coming. I didn't avoid it though. Laz, you're bleeding everywhere. Good evening, Meldon, Tarragon. Great to see you. The chest, I believe, drops random chests every few rooms, so way more stuff we can get. That's nice. What's this guy? Obsessed fan? Obsessed fan's okay. Can be okay versus trailing. Usually it's just random damage more than anything. Let's leave that there for a moment. I think we just take five plus coins on the next floor and try to get a good arcade out of this uh, Al user and to kill ourselves, get some good gambling done. I kind of want to hit the sack room here too. I can't confirm that it happens, but it feels like if you at least hit a sack room early on, you're more likely to get them later. But I could be wrong about that. It just feels that way. It's a cool idea, do much. Alright, let's go up and check the boss item here. We still have this one bomb, but... Uh, not yet. Can we get secret room and this, this rock? Probably. Okay, correct choice was made. Hey, Nanners, thanks for the three consecutive months. Much love. Thanks for keeping it dapper. Hey, man. Synth hall. Don't mind if I do. Hey, what's up, Pinball Wiz? That damage is booming. 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit this uh, twice just to say I did it. I don't think it's actually gonna affect anything, but who knows? I do want sack rooms later. Cool pinball wins. That sounds awesome. Curse of the Blind, that's all good. I'll take anything. Okay, fair enough, Lemming. Thanks for that. So this damage is pretty good. That is terrifying, Digital Vortex. I love it. I shouldn't uh, pop that guy there, but I did. Good thing we have great damage, not just good damage. Greatness. So the reason, uh, well, I had a train of thought there, but it's gone. It's gone. I was going to talk about saving bombs, and then I realized I didn't save my bomb last few months. Hey, okay. Well, we used a sack room, and uh, look at what we found here, another sack room. Uh, negative luck is going to make, uh, I don't know. What's negative luck going to do? Probably not help too much stuff drop for you. Hey there! What an interesting uh, run this has been. Double shot with Waggle Worm. Keep it cruising. I mean, yes, I could rush for boss rush here, but I really don't want to. I think one boss rush hush is enough enough for me. Maybe if we found Mama Mega or something. Make ourselves an exception. Wowza wowza! Two crawl spaces so far. Incredible. The God of One. Thanks for the 50 bits. Cheers to you. Negative luck gets you double shot. Confirmed on stream. There you go. I like the way you're thinking, Metal Sonic. Mega Moob, welcome to the damper. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. You are awesome. Da, da, da. No arcades, kind of unfortunate. Let's go in here first, though. Limming 3000, thanks for the 3109 bits, sir. Appreciate your generosity, man. Incredibly generous of me. For keeping that frag sissy emote alive, too. I think I want to go for uh, God Aims. And I think we're going to go ahead and sacrifice some health now. Ah, maybe I save it for the sacrum we actually use it on. The reason we left the soul heart on the ground is we were going to come back and maybe use the sack room. But I don't think it's going to happen here. I'm going to go ahead and tap the sack room one more time and see if I can confirm my theory. We hit the sack room last time and it showed on the next floor. We got back to back sack rooms. I'm going to need those sack rooms to get uh, get to Mega Satan. Maybe we haven't taken Devil Deals yet. Anything's possible. Got to keep the options open. It's the emo for you. Well, I'm glad, Lemmy. I'm glad you found the one. It's definitely an emo for me, too. I like using that emo. It's, uh, 
sarcastically. It's a good face for that. Super secrets here. No. Um. All right, secret has to be here then. Da -da 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 -da. Tello Roos, thanks for the 40 consecutive months. Legendary streak, friend. Appreciate you. Da -da -da -da. Forty is a nice round number. All right, three bombs for one bomb seems good. Three hearts there is good. If we do get a sack room, this is probably the floor. They're getting a sack room three floors in a row. Not very likely, but it is possible. It only applies to the one floor you use it on, Yon Ray. So any hits we did on the sack room there do not carry over to the next one. Great question. I don't like that room, man. I'm gonna clear the rest so we can go up in the item room and then over to the right. Hey, nice destruction. Thanks for those 80 bits. Appreciate you watching those answer bits, man. Appreciate your time. You lucky dog, you. I gotta say, it's gonna be one of the cleaner starts on a Lazarus run that I've seen in some time. Kinda trying to chip away at my delirium and uh, greedier mode unlocks. You think so, God varies? I'm not sure if that statue room's the worst in the game for me, but it sure is an annoyance. I will give it that. Nice. Look at that little kid. That is pretty tempting. Wowza! Hey, much love, Cactus Fisting. Appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time to type that out. I'm glad the uh, channel's been good entertainment for you as you uh, fall asleep each night. I say it all the time on the stream. You told me when I first started broadcasting that people would use me uh, primarily for background noise. I would not have believed you. I'm so happy things turned out the way they did. Lurker love. I think the secret room might actually be here. We might be able to get away with not... No? I think two gold chests sounds better than uh, that two key room. If we get keys in here, that's great. That's a lot of money. Can I access that key in the top left? I don't think so. Okay, let's forget what that room is for now. Okay, we can always come back if we really want to. Oh, it's a key for a key. Yeah, we got store and item room here. If we need to get more keys, we can come back. Okay, we'll leave this way. And we'll come back in so we can safely maneuver over there. This room's just a nightmare. I think my best tip for this room, it is a, a relatively nasty one. Two keys, nice. So you gotta get ahead of it. Ooh, that's an item room. Hey there. Daddy long legs, how you been? We'll be back to that in a second. A little speed up would be pretty nice. I'm gonna guess super secrets off this room too. Probably want to use that. Um, 
Do I want range up? No, not really, but I'm gonna take it. Thanks, Gnome Stranger. Glad you're enjoying the content. Arkin Magis, thanks for the 38 consecutive months. Much love. Can I get a black candle? Yes, I can. Put it on your head. Let that wax drip down into your hair. You look beautiful. We could bomb here for more stuff in the store. Let's see what we get here. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Chad can tell me what that is while we walk back down to our two key door. Okay, well, in this case, uh, Etains, uh, the Super Seeker is going to be connected to only one other gray room. So there's a few places it could be. It could be uh, above the room that's next to the bottom right. It could have been in the into the skinny room to the left-hand side of that one room, but neither of those had it. Uh, Super Seeker is almost always next to the boss room as well, and if it's not, it's pretty far away. Uh, we checked a lot of other places for the secret room so far. I'm thinking it's down uh, to the left of that long room below. Don't worry, there are procs on hit effects without taking health. So Curse of the Tower, for example. Okay. Yeah. Keys for everybody. Shouldn't use my last bomb there, but I did. Ooh, super good on Samson. That sounds nice. Uh, two room rerolls all the stuff in this room. So let's just do this. Uh, definitely not worth two keys. So we got half that back. So why not, you betcha? Dull Razor also gives iframes. I'd be afraid to use it in anything we uh, needed iframes for, like a gambling wise, if it brought Curse of the Tower. What are some other on-hit stuff we can get? Because we can also get an arcade if we don't buy an item here. I want to have five coins going into the second variation to hopefully get an arcade for this resistance room. Maybe next time. Can I frame through curse doors? Okay, that's a great example. Swallowed penny, all right. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can also trigger Polaroid. That's uh, pretty awesome. Thanks, thanks for that. I still want my arcade, but I have a better understanding how that item works thanks to chat's descriptions. Thanks for the information. Okay, well, if I had two bombs, I could get two bombs and a dark rock. Or get a bomb and a dark rock for two bombs. There's that arcade, though. Just one more coin, please. This looks like a one more coin opportunity to me. Just one more coin. This machine's hot. You can just drop me back off at the arcade, uh, you know, on your way to work. That'd be great. You can also pick me up after you get done with work because I'll still be there. That is true. I'm only going there with a dollar and 42 cents, but I can spend a good six hours combing the parking lot for change. No problem. Be able to get at least one more spin in. That machine I was on yesterday, that was, that was a hot machine. I mean, I lost everything to that machine, but, uh, you know, it was going to pay out soon. I could just tell. I, I think they move around the machines at night. I saw a guy with a checklist, and he was pointing around the machine, so you know what I did? I cut a snippet off my homemade shoe and stuck it to the bottom of the tray. Now, I'll always be able to find my hot machine. Just one more coin, please. One more. Hey, what's up, Steam? 
All right, guys, we're going to take our first break of the night here. Uh, thank you again for your patience during that short time. Uh, frames look somewhat stable on this server. Still dropping a few, but hey, what can you do, man? Uh, we'll be back in about three minutes. There's going to be no ads to this break. It's going to stand up, stretch, use the restroom real quick. Encourage you to do the same things. Uh, when we uh, get back, we'll hop right back into this run and begin our gambling extravaganza. See you guys soon.
All right, we're back. Thank you so much for your patience during that short break. Uh, thank you all for being here. Very grateful for the opportunity to entertain you all. You're amazing. Let's hop in. Yeah, I ended up buying a Lazy Boy. Let's talk about the Lazy Boy real quick. Um, do I want to go down to Half Heart here or not? Maybe just pop the Algees right away. Let's do it right away. Anyway, so I went through quite a few, um, I didn't mean to grab that, uh, quite a few uh, just office chairs during the tier live stream challenge and after, and finally went to a furniture store to actually look at chairs and ended up sitting in about 30 different whoo, lazy boy chairs. Hello there. like this one the best and got it no regrets my setup's a little bit weird for broadcasting but we make it work i have a little rolly cart that rolls up that holds my second monitor uh keyboard and mouse little stand for the tv to sit on which is what uh what i stream to well i mean do we want to do it yet so we want to hold off do i want to Okay, I guess I want Skatole. That's two out of three fly items, so we're one away from Lord of the Flies here. I mean, how meaty do we want to get? I kind of want this health for uh, sacrifice rooms, too. Let's uh, chill on using the potato peeler for a minute. We're definitely adequate for clearing here. I will say that uh, my frames have been a lot more stable on this server, but... It seems like Twitch is having some site-wide issues right now. Well, I do agree technology uh, stuff can be can be frustrating. Let's remember the amazing service that Twitch TV has had uh, and how the site has improved over the past five-ish years. I was lagging myself trying to watch a stream earlier, but hey, technology is amazing. Okay, we're going to... Well, I guess we get five bombs for this, so let's just do it. Hey, frag chair was cool. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I didn't enjoy the chairs that I sat in during like the tier challenge. And uh, that chair specifically was very good. But it died. It died a death, just like all other chairs. The cushion gave out and everything. Um. Why is life so hard, man? So we're not getting our sacrum in this form. King Lysandus, so thanks for the four consecutive months. Much love. Thanks for keeping it damper, dude. Boo -boo. Thanks for the 25 bits, man. Oh, if anybody missed it, we had a killer game of Ghostbusters last night to finish off the stream. Very last thing on uh, last night's Vaughn. Nice 3.3 uh, billion round. No kidding, Mortis. Man, that, that old, uh, that old jail joke with the shoji screen. I was streaming using the, uh, the webcam microphone as, as my microphone back in those days. Oh, how things have changed. Okay, well, we, we could have bombed in there. Um, yeah, we got two floors to go for more options. I'll take that. Drop a bomb or two here. Just because I can. Take that machine. What do you think this card is, though? Hey, nice one. Alright, oh, man. Why no sack room here so I can use the potato peeler, though? Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I think about that stuff every once in a while. It was like the technology used when I first started content production. Got that, uh, that Dazzle HD capture. Great to a hop hodge. So many different uh, variations and iterations of all sorts of stuff. 
Might make some improvements to the setup here and there, but really happy with the way it's set up now. I've invested a lot over my career into trying out different things for the setup. And <laughs> no regrets. I'm sighing here because I want to keep my health with the sun card to guarantee I can get key pieces and when we, when we find a sack room. But with that potato peeler, we could chunk off uh, a full version of Meat Boy on top of us right now, and that'd be pretty sick. Level 4 Meat Boy uh, is definitely a game winner. That's true, I can just grab the peeler for later, which I think is what we're going to do, Just. I think that's a great suggestion and probably our best option. Hey, what's good, my dad Martin? Nice to see you, dude. Well, we're not full up yet. We'll go ahead and grab this. With six hard containers to work with. Every hard container can be something special. I don't think he's going to pay out in eight coins here, but I'm going to give this guy a chance. I got, I got a good feeling about this guy. Okay. He's like, hey, if you would have came sooner, though. Fair play, friend. Like, yeah, you. I saw you walk right past me in the arcade, go right to the blood machine, the demon bear. Didn't even look at me. I had the goods. My dang. Hey, nice and yes, because I love peeling potatoes. Holy guacamole, do we get both key pieces right here? Is it happening? Looks like it's happening. I don't think I've ever ran into this room when I was looking for key pieces, so this is pretty exciting. Okay, so there's one. Chunk it up. Get him, Mr. Meat. No, uh, no sacrifice rooms needed then. Now we don't have a guarantee of void showing up here. This is the best possible chance. You know, let's chunk one more here. Just one more pound of flesh, and we'll uh, head up to the bloody combat room because we we're unable to see what was in there. But now we can. Good old walking around, big boy, meat boy. What a guy. Bigs man, welcome to the damper. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime, sir. Much love. Appreciate that support. Just one more pound, please, sir. Make me a friend. I don't know, me boy. I really hurt myself last time. Please make me a friend. I don't know. Okay, I'll give you somebody to talk to at least. You guys keep each other company. I want a friend to play tag with. No, Meat Boy. No. I've already committed six health containers to, to making you. Please, I want a friend to, to play tag with. If I, if I do that, Mr. Meat, I'm gonna die. 
Okay, you can have a smaller version of yourself, but, but it stops there. No more. You guys, you guys have a good time. No more. I knew there was something about funny about this potato peeler when I bought it. Turns out it's cursed. Real sharp though, it's nice. Good opportunities to break skulls here. Maybe we'll get uh, something to do that. There should be no uh, maximum on the amount of Meat Boys you can have, so as many health as you can generate is how many Meat Boys you can have. It's a really a very high quality peeler. The only bad thing is the curse. That's right, Dantum. Okay, this one's a freebie though, so we're definitely gonna do that. It's a freebie. Converter, paw, peeler, run. I like the way you're thinking, Mike Marin. Anything that generates infinite health would be uh, pretty great here. You know, just get 15 or 16 meat boys. Hey, nice with a girl. Lars Fest had an 8 meat boy run. Great stuff. Dunder33, thanks for the 36 consecutive months, sir. Much love and thanks for the three great years. Would you like to be in the Subscriber Hall of Fame below the broadcast? It'd be my honor to add you. Three years. Another Hall of Famer. I did not see that orange ninja. Awesome Dunder 33. I'll add you right now, dude. Oh, it's little monster. He's pretty cute. I think we'll have to do that. All right, Dunder33, you're in there enshrined forever in the Scribe Hall of Fame. Thanks for the three consecutive years, dude. Winanary, thanks for the 22 consecutive months. Much love. Little Monstro's rad. He's no little Gertie, but he's a bro. boy don't be complacent I know I can carry you get a job made me spend all my health creating you and now you won't even do anything you can see I needed help there starting to think this wasn't worth it oh yeah for sure Gaxter I'd say him doing more damage than uh, Gertie on average would be a slam dunk. Don't have any health anyways. There we go. There's nothing really wrong with Abel, in my opinion.
No, the Miboys aren't glitched out. They're just, uh, they don't have the best range. They don't have as much range as, like, an attack fly. Uh, once they're on target, they're going to absolutely shred. There's no question. It's just a matter of getting and keeping them on target. There we go. Hey, Inspector Blur, have a great one. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Abel is a lot more decent now. He always fires back at the characters, so you can actually fire diagonally. So you're almost always hitting what you're on target, uh, on target with. Nom 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 nom. Hey, nice get soon. I didn't know that. So the uh, peeler is a slight damage up as well. I like it. Probably should pay more attention to my stats, but I guess you don't care. Stats are stats. Grab this hermit card for Necro too. Why not? Uh, super secret I'd say is unlikely to be there. More likely to be here. Just get off this crazy ride. Whoa there. How you doing? Well, glad we have uh, two level four me boys to help us out here. Gnarly fight. Whoa, It's fair, though. Hey, for sure, Lemming, I agree. Well, now, Nuri, thanks for the 22 consecutive months. You are wonderful. Thanks for that long-term support. The stat screen is definitely good. And it's, it's fun to look at. I just, uh, I, I honestly, most of the time, just don't look at my stats. <laughs> definitely for understanding how an item works, uh, it helps a ton. We'll see here. I don't know. We need another friend. Not yet, Mr. Meat. I thought one of you was annoying, and then now there's two. You guys are crushing it, though. I can't, uh, I can't deny the results. Oh, you know, a health down pill would actually be a health up pill right now. But tears down is always tears down. That's uh, that's a fact. This is going to be the best button in Curse Room history, right? Nope. The hermit. Wow, that's tough. Blue Candle's pretty decent, but I think, you know, just for the possibility that we get the massive meat army, we can't, we can't give that up. Grizzly Johnny, thanks for the nine consecutive months. Much love. Polar Pete it is. Oh, man. Maybe? I get Bandage Girl, too. That is, that'd be nice. That's a lot of red hearts. Um, I think I'd be a fool not to go back and check this library. As much as I'd love to get three or four Meat Boys, uh, you know, two's definitely good. Oh, okay. I 
I want a mod for uh, Afterbirth that adds a random chance for the old music to play. The only ones I've seen is that it completely converts over to the old music. But this track particularly, uh, Depths 2, in comparison to the Depths soundtrack of the original Isaac, not even close. Not even close. I love you, soy milk, but this ain't the soy milk run. All right, one more. If we had any tier modifier whatsoever, uh, soy would have been fine there. But since we're trying to defeat Delirium, we should probably also be a little bit smart. I'm not gonna get a better opportunity to use the, uh, the cracked die here, I don't think. Okay. See what happens. Whew, that zero luck though. Probably doesn't even affect that. Yeah, a little much there. Really hoping to leave that fire up. Uh, hey. No, no real loss. I'm just gonna hold on to the cracked eye. It could completely wreck our stats, or it could make them really amazing. Ow! Good morning, Relic Killer. At some point, you might be able to re roll this. Uh, Potato peeler as well. Get rid of the curse. It's the only way is to reroll it into oblivion. take, uh, I don't know. You think our chance to get Delirium's any better? Wowza, wowza, godhead. If we go down... Pretty cool item, man. Yeah, if only we had soy milk this time. Uh, we're still one fly item away from Lord of the Flies. Or is that even, is that last run? No. That was this run. If only we could have known. I'd say we're still looking pretty good. Any tier rate up right now would be awesome. So I could come back. You're right, too much. We can keep the dream alive. I like your enthusiasm. I can see forever. That's excellent. 
Hello, bloats. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Here we go. Let's clear a little bit here because we can. Uh, tier is the tier aura around your tiers, which does massive damage, and it uh, gives homing shot as well, I believe. It's a huge damage up. Ooh, that's how you complete that room without taking damage. Duly noted. Grand, the quick clearing helps there. I just had an epiphany on uh, on that room. Caravore, thanks for the 11 consecutive months. Thanks for keeping it damper. Glad you can be here. I don't know. That looks pretty rad and it's probably really good with that. Let's see. We're going to be back here for a second. Chaos Shadows, 1330. Thanks for the 26 consecutive months. Thank you all for uh, the love and support you showed me. I am so grateful to be here, able to entertain you. Yeah, we might as well damage here if we have health. Uh, I want to get a tier. There we go. That's all I needed. That's all I needed right there. We just tanked our speed, but I don't even care now. We'll get speed back. Time to go wax on, wax off here. We got this. Get gently rubbed out of existence. I like to pretend it's gentle. It makes me feel better about it. In all truth, it's really 1,000 degrees searing light. Bombs are key, and... Man, Devil Card's pretty good. I'm gonna hold on to that. I can see forever. Uh, the Crack Die is also the D8, which rerolls uh, your stats. The best time to get Crack Die is if you have something that... Uh, breaks the tier cap like anti-grav tiers you can get some extremely <laughs> aggressive tier rates by things that can take the uh your, your tier rate past what it can normally go i mean hey man that's a pretty cool room we got no business left here yeah, we're going to grab this uh, Eternal Heart because we can get uh, another Meat Boy. Why not? Oof, we tanked our speed pretty bad. Point nine nine speed. It's no big deal. We got this. Going down. Yeah, basically base speed. Like a little bit worse than base speed. The damage is good enough that the speed issue is not, uh, not as bad.
Yeah, you can definitely get the portal after Mega Stan. Uh, after every fight past the uh, past the heart, I think. Sack room was on this floor, uh, dude. Main, we don't need to use the sack room here since we already have the completed key piece. Could try to do it for a chance of blessing or getting the uh, the devil room there, or the other god room. I believe the curse room can take you to a devil or god room, even if one isn't spawned on that floor, or if you've already seen one. Definitely in like a streak situation or something, there would definitely be a benefit to using the sack room, though. Most certainly. Yeah, for sure, Blue Confetti. I'm probably not going to be grabbing the Dark Rocks, but uh, you're, you're free to point it out. At this point, we're at full health, and I already have the small rocks, so it could be a gold chest, but... A good enough build, we're not going to be uh, min-maxing here. Suggestions always encouraged, though. If you all don't point out the uh, Dark Arts for me, I'll never find them. That's the truth. Ha! Beach a gangster. Have to get a command in every once in a while. Okay then. Chunk it up. Okay, no room, interesting. I kind of want to look for uh, some more health or something. I'm just going to go, though. We got this. ZXYZ, thanks for the 200 bits, man. Cheers to you. Appreciate your generosity. Going down. Yeah, the difference is very subtle between the Depths and Womb, uh, Dark Rocks, indeed. They're definitely tougher to tougher to spot them since everything's red. Use the devil card on, on Stanley, I bet. Why not? Mega Stanley, that is. Not using uh, the devil card on lower management, Satan. I want to talk to middle management, Satan. Shield track's pretty great. I agree, Gaxter. Whoa, Calm yourself. Hey, enjoy that lurk. Thanks for bringing the packet with you. MB, G, and Y.
Ride the wave! Look at it undulate. It's amazing. MB, you got it. The Fallen, huh? That's a tough one to falsify. Uh, the trick with the Fallen is, uh, a good thing you can do is try to drop a bomb right as he splits. That removes quite a bit of health. Well, I mean, bombs are key, it tears down. What does this do, you think? Speed up, cool. Infested. Infested, I can see forever. I think we can afford to clear a little bit here. We got, we got Godhead tears. Well, Empress, all right. Hello there. Oh man, I was just thinking, what if the Allstad Mush is there? And then we can eat that health as well. Get him. What does this do? Puberty, okay. I totally lost a health for doing that, but that's okay. Hey, I thought it too, boss. It was going to happen. So that's a 1.5 times damage multiplier. Pretty huge item to get. Uh, I think this makes more chest drops. So we're going to drop the, the, the worm wave here. It's not guaranteed, uh, Bogging Page Shield. So I guess we're going to clear up to Lamb and then, uh, then fight Mega Stan. They grow up so fast. Ow. Please. I'll take that. That's one more uh, pound of flesh. Oh, you done, son? Close up. No. Okay, we have uh, no no void spawn there. Clear a couple more rooms here. Yeah, it's probably right, Ecotase. Probably it, look, it looked cool, but it probably was a negative interaction. We hit yes, we reroll uh, re the run. I believe you lose some items and stuff. I haven't done any victory laps uh, yet. Filthy Peasant, thanks for the 22 consecutive months. Much love. These tiers still look pretty cool, if you ask me. I've heard uh, since you lose items doing victory laps, that uh, probably it's really good for uh, just getting stat ups. Okay, cool, do much. Well, that'll be a project for some stream or another. Frilla Joel, thanks for the 18 bits, man. Cheers to you. Look at those campus wink. Yes, our tears are godlike. That's a good way to look at it. We are cruising right now.
I see PC trying. Made a good, uh, good early run getting stance. Um, I yeah, definitely don't want to take that. Let's uh, let's do this. We could grab that heart there. We don't need it. We don't need it. I'm gonna show Mega Sans who the boss. Got a little bit of bad manners here, not picking up that last heart. Stan's got to know who's the boss. Get liquefied. <laughs> he almost attacked. Then he hurt his hand. What a bad boo-boo. Okay. No void spawn for us. GG. GG, what a good run. We didn't get to the void like we wanted, but we gave it we gave it a good try. Hex QC, thanks for the 13 consecutive months. Much love. Alright guys, we're gonna try a uh, new game. Bought this a uh, couple days ago. Don't know anything about it. Let's check it out. Well, I know it's a platform. That much I do know. And apparently it's compatible with one of my other captures, so that's neat. Uh, warning, this might be a little loud. I hope not. Okay, bright flashy lights may not be suitable for those with photosensitive epilepsy. Well, right up my alley then, right? Okay, we'll see how the volume fares here. I think we're good though. Click back into the game so we can do stuff. All right, how is the gain of waste volume here on the uh, the opening screen? Probably help if it was uh, lined up correctly too, huh? Um, uh, which one's it using? How about we do this? How about we give it its own uh, its own capture, and that way there's no confusion. Capture cursor, never, never. Uh. 
I do that for you guys. Okay. Left, right, run, space, uh, up, arrow, jump. Okay, got it. Cool. Okay, got it. Okay, so we have to slide there. I wonder if you speed up when you slide. Saruman, thanks for the four consecutive months. Much love. I feel like I need to turn the game up just a little bit. We're going to do that. We're going to go right about there. Okay. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, it's all about the dashes. Feels a lot more like Dust Force than uh, N++ to me so far, Cheesy Bum. Hold on. Okay, so you press that while you're doing it, you're sliding as well, amazing. Okay, so if you're moving forward at all, you're sliding. Fair enough. So the controls are a little bit interesting, but we'll get there. I think if I press uh, not forward while sliding on those pads, we get wrecked. There we go. Oh, <laughs> don't do that, sir. Bonk. We'll get there. Okay, I have to dash down after that. Got it. Hey, fair enough, Rasher. Glad you're enjoying watching. I'm uh, getting the hang of it here. So, my mistakes, I was pressing backwards, which apparently you never want to do. Okay. We got it this time. You can tell it's going to ramp up, too, so we better get the hang of this. Let's always press the direction we want to go. There we go. is not so bad. Have a great one, Faden. Okay. Okay, it dashes through those, got it. <laughs> Fair play. I do it way earlier.
That's just the mechanic of the game. It's probably just to try to mess you up. Not sure how I feel about it yet, but it's uh, fun enough. It's challenging for sure. I bet I'm supposed to jump uh, actually back there. That'll do. <laughs> okay, gotta jump over that, got it. Actually, I wonder if I have to. I wonder if I can uh, dash over and then hit the timing. I can't, okay. So it's very similar to a game like, uh, say, Thumper. If you're pressing the wrong direction on the wrong thing, uh, you're dead. Cannot walk on the red, that's right. Okay, that was good. Good idea. Yeah, it's really a timing rhythm game, uh, more than a platformer, I would say. You do have a little bit of, uh, leeway though that's a that's a lot to time together fair enough the screen feels a lot less disorienting to me now Definitely, uh, the changing colors when you use different skills is definitely something. Though. Got it. Uh, a lot different than the Impossible game, too. Impossible games auto scroll. Speaking of which, I may want to go back and beat that someday. I don't know. If we can beat Bitrip and all the others, we can probably beat that. I only played it for a few hours. Okay, you can only touch the red bit if you're dashing, which is pressing X on the controller. X controls uh, your dashes, controls uh, your pounds on the ground, and also controls your shooting. So A is jump, X is dash and shoot, and all the other stuff. I was pretty sure I was, but okay. You would know better than me, game. Not gonna worry about getting all the orbs and stuff. I think just for this moment, uh, completion should be good. Da -da. Okay, I bet I have to dash jump to get more momentum. That's what it's trying to teach me. Indeed. I could have swore I was dashing there, but I guess not. <sighs> Close. Yep, I'm in the exact same boat as you are with the uh, tilting camera. It's just part of the game mechanic. I've definitely seen games utilize more disorienting things. Ooh. 
Wow, that's a tight timing. Okay, we'll get it next time. <laughs> I guess jumping off the wall is also uh, also an option. Sarah Min, thanks for the four consecutive months. Appreciate you keeping it damp. Sorry if I was a little bit behind on that one. I do appreciate you. Yeah, I guess that is possible. I don't think so, though. Okay, so you can make it even uh, even more. You can turn uh, more screen effects on. Make it even harder on yourself. So uh, good to know there's not. Honestly, it's not bothering me. I'm enjoying it. Not every game is... Uh, different games are good for different reasons. There's enough contrast going on in the colors. You're never really confused about what's actually happening. Obviously a very intentional design choice. Okay, I gotta fire the gun there too, right. I think jumping off there is uh, a good option. Got him. Okay, I think I have to jump off that wall. <laughs> okay. Good enough. Woo, that timing though. How did that not get me? We may try out glitch mode again. You guys gotta be patient. Please be patient. Glitch mode just looks like an additional screen filter that makes the game harder. That's what it looked like to me. I don't really feel like doing that right now. Whew. 
All right. I'm wondering what other kind of timings they can throw at us. I feel like every level they've thrown a new mechanic in, which is good. I wouldn't say the mechanics in this game have been as accessible as uh, other games I've played, but I'm definitely uh, catching on. I don't think you buy this game unless you uh, like uh, kind of this style of platformer anyways, though. I'm sure it does warp bovine. It looks like it's built for speedrunning. I mean, that's really uh, what the game was, what all the description was. I just wanted to see uh, how it handled. Answer is pretty good. Uh, you actually have a lot more control over your momentum in this game, Dad Guy's Sick, than you wouldn't like Meat Boy, because you can, you can dash, uh, dash down to like stomp to really change your momentum whenever you want. It's more about timings and gaining momentum. Okay. Ah, I see it now. Okay, got it, got it. We got to dash jump off of that to make it happen. Okay. <laughs> Close. Okay, that box, these boxes here don't affect jumps, but the double jumps only happen in the glowing white box, it looks like. I think we're on the same page. Okay, I need to stomp down there to stop my little. Ooh, got me there, bud. I needed to jump there. Momentum's really tricky here. There we go. I wonder if we're supposed to stop there. Not quite. Whoa, yeah, your momentum, once you get started, like, jumping backwards is pretty tough to do. Really have to have a lot of control there. Could have saved that, though.
Can I, uh, can I jump, can I dash mid-air into the, into that? I must be able to. Let's give that a couple more shots here. Okay, that was it. Got it. Understand the mechanic. Pyre number 13, thanks for the 25 bits, man. Cheers to you. Okay, or we could not jump there and then uh, not die as well. That's the thing. I agree, Gaxer. Soundtrack's holding it together right now. I haven't really played enough to say, but initially... Okay, so we actually have to do that. So you can only slide for so long. Got it. Got it. Controls don't feel as tight as I'd like to be. I don't have a wonderful thought here. I'm really enjoying the game, but something. Okay, I had my chance to jump there. I'm like blazing across here the whole time if we can make that. Didn't feel to me like I could jump inside inside the square. Meet Beta, thanks for the four consecutive months. Much love, man. Appreciate that continued support. Maybe because I was also holding down X, that could be my fault. Let's try it that way. I think this game lost me somewhere in the mechanics. I don't really have anything negative to say. I haven't played it uh, enough to give a full review or anything, but uh, I don't know. Controls felt wonky to me. Didn't work for uh, for my brain. Definitely fun, but uh, I think I think what was getting me is you have not enough information when you're going through the level to see what's coming next. At least for me.
that's okay. They can't all be winners. But as always, let's focus on the positive. Anytime we play a game that's a platformer, I've noticed a lot of people like to find stuff to poke and complain about it. Just enjoy the experience. That one didn't pan out uh, the way I wanted it to, but life goes on. Somebody put a lot of time into making that game, and I think that game does have a lot of merits. It just wasn't for me. Okay, so we have a uh, NGB run coming up. If we're going to follow our streak, we have a streak of two right now. I don't see why we won't do uh, NGB. NGB, of course, starts with one crew, two system repairs, anti-personnel, heavy ion, heavy laser, and... Gizmo is carry it. Let's do Gizmo. That's all it's going to fit in the one name, though. It's up, Spell Factory. All right, let's hop in and get that, uh, those, what should we do? Uh, classic name here. <laughs> I hope we're not forever alone. If we are, we're probably dead on this run. Cement Pond. Okay, that's a good name, though. I'm doing it. Very nice. Nice. Looks like a pretty good, uh, pretty good sector map to start. All right, guys. I've been streaming for, uh, well, just about three hours now. Uh, I'm gonna take my food break for tonight. I'll be back in approximately five minutes when we return. Uh, we'll hop into this wonderful NGB run. Had a wonderful time tonight so far doing the Isaac Daly uh, Lazarus run. Uh, checked out standby, and here we are in FTO. Hopefully this run goes good. Uh, you usually know pretty early if your NGB run's gonna be all right. Uh, gotta find an early weapon to replace the heavy ion. It's the only ship in FTL that cannot defeat a two-shield ship, which becomes an immediate problem in Sector 3 and in some quest events in Sector 1, Sector 2 as well. I am going to run ads, our first ads of tonight. Uh, for this break, if you allowed them to play, I greatly appreciate it. If you don't, I still very much appreciate your time here. We'll be back in just a moment. Much love.
All right, thanks so much for your patience, everybody. We're back, we're fed, we're ready to go. Got a little baby kitty and everything. What a good kitty. I hope everyone's having a beautiful and amazing day. Thanks for being here for show number 1519. Over four years of daily shows over the past five years here on Twitch. Thanks for making it happen. My absolute pleasure to be here uh, sharing this experience for so long. You are beautiful, and I appreciate you. JJ... Welcome back to the Dapper. Much love and thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. You are amazing. Ravon214, thanks for the 20 consecutive months. Beautiful, man. Okay, the one thing the NGB has going for it is it has a ton of stuff to sell. Until you get a second crew member, selling the anti-personnel isn't great. But right off the top, you can sell system repair and drone reactor booster. You sure are cake, don't it? Not Bliss 9 Hito. Not too many good things can happen in an Ion Storm for us, to be honest. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, this could get sketchy real quick, or we could get lucky. Go ahead and load up one of these now, because we'll probably need it. Oh no, that's so bad. I think if we do this right, we can uh, we can get this. Da, 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 da. Okay, the drone's down, so we're back to safety. Woo! If you power up the heavy laser right as the heavy ion hits, you can get the heavy laser shot in right as the shield's coming back up, as we just saw. Da, da, da. Oh, come on now. <sighs> what a dodge. What's up, Carnivorous Cavi? Nice to see you. Whoops. I didn't mean to fire there. This has got to be the one, right? Wowza! That's three misses in a row to the shields. Finally. Okay, let's get the permanent shield down. Now we can get over here. Hey, Kinkazon. Well, thanks for tuning in. I've streamed a little over 1,800 of hours of FTL here on Twitch TV since the game released in 2012. FTL is definitely a staple of the channel. And we still gets played on a somewhat regular basis. So there's uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of archive content. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, not even 2K. Let's just see what it is right now. 1860, apparently. Oh, I'll attempt to follow and help you. Johnson, what's happening? Whoo, a squishy little fella. At least he powers the med bay by himself. Okay, well, we got through the uh, the ion. That actually wasn't too bad. We got uh, some good rewards there. We got a crew and a ship reward. We got plenty of uh, connecting jumps over here. I think we're actually going to just take this jump, cut this one out of the equation. See some more jumps. Hopefully a store so we can get two shields up. Getting two shields up is a great threshold for any run. Uh, whoa, okay. Well, I'm not paying your toll. There's no way.
Yeah, definitely Zarfiel. At one point I said I was going to retire FTL and stream. I was in a much different mindset about playing games and streaming than I was then. I can safely say that I'll, I'll never <laughs> say anything's retired again, because you just never know what the future may hold. And, uh... FTL's a staple of the channel. It's a game I still very much enjoy playing. A lot of that was my, my own frustrations uh, about, about other things. In such a better place, though, I know. Grateful to be here every single day entertaining you guys. Just thank you for the opportunity to be here and entertain you. Truly an honor. So, this could time out poorly, but we could also be alright. Maybe. Wow, double misses is not a good start. Okay, it timed out alright. Wow, the jukes. Okay, we got some jukes ourselves. Imagine this is like a dual laser, though. We'd be so screwed right now. Uh, okay, just the doors, then. Hey, that's true, Delbach. Everything happens for a reason. I agree. Just want to clarify at this point. Uh, I've really been enjoying the format we've had going for uh, the past couple weeks or so. Just kind of playing whatever, whenever. Sometimes having a three or four game broadcast. H hey there, buddy. How about you don't run away? Hit the shields here too. That guarantees they're not gonna not gonna go back to pilot. No store. Distress sounds okay. Why not? What a tense fight that was. Can I offer you assistance? Send a repair drone to fix their shields. Okay. The drone keeps the ship stable enough to allow them to escape the asteroid field. They message you with map coordinates. You're that Federation ship the Rails are after, aren't you? I can't offer much, but I heard there was a Federation loyalist base nearby. Maybe they can help you. Nice. Dude, it's just right there. Okay, we're going to stare at the map here for a second because I, I don't want to mess up our pathing. Likely a store in here. That's not a guarantee. I think I might go here first. I can always go one, two, three, four, and then head back this way. Uh, I don't want to just head to the quest right away. I think if I do that and just hook back this way, we're going to miss out on a couple jumps. I do also have the option of going like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's too hard to time out. Do, 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 do. Just making sure everything looks normal on my end. There are some tracks in this game that get uh, get a little overwhelming, so sorry if that's a problem, Dax. There's a lot going on in the soundtrack of this game. But I'd rather have the music be high on this than I would uh, be low. Okay, I'm going to trust my gut and go here. Seven fuel for one drone part. I think we gotta, right? What's up, Lord? Nice to see you. Seems decent. Okay, enemy FTLs charging, and they have two lasers. Uh... Hmm. 
If they get away in his double pursuit, that's kind of a bummer. Oh, I didn't mean to fire that. No! How is this happening right now? The misses are unreal. Okay, then. Yeah, run away from us, cowards. Sure showed those guys. Well, that was uh, unreal bad luck. Hey, at least that didn't happen on the quest marker, huh? Hey, River Eagles, nice to see you. Hey, I like this guy. We gotta go stop the madness here, which leaves us very vulnerable. Okay, our heavy laser is protected here, and surely we won't miss, right? Okay. Okay, and a breach, so they're down. Uh, they're down permanently. Hey, cool Iron Tail. Glad to hear that game got uh, more support. I have not revisited it since the first playthrough, which is a lot of fun. Hey, third crew. And a second heavy ion. I suppose that's an option. Double heavy ion, heavy laser. Sure. The threat gone, you contact the Federation outpost. They respond. Our location has been compromised. Take everything you can and please drop our survivors off at the next station. One soldier officer to stay and fight. What's up, Tack? You're a pretty cool guy. Alright, we're gonna move the Zoltan to engines now. And you're the new weapons guy. Hey, well, thanks for tuning in before bed, Binicor. Glad you can be here, man. Man, that's tough. Now, I don't think delaying two shields going to be to anybody's benefit here. I guess we theoretically have an option we can go into with the heavy ion. Because if we hit uh, heavy ion, heavy ion back to back, that takes down two shields right away. It keeps them down for quite some time. Double heavy ion could actually work in sector three with a decent defense, maybe a defense drone. Star. Demand to surrender their goods. Yes. These guys are trying to get away too. I'm getting a, a running theme here. What's happening? Scrap a doodle and a store. Whoo. Well, I definitely believe we can make uh, one, two, three, but four before it's a dive. Not so sure about that one.
One, two, three, four is kind of out of the question, too. We have so much stuff we can sell at the store, we could immediately rally into at least three engines, maybe even four here. Could also sell off system repair, anti-personnel, drone reactor booster, heavy ion to buy anything that could be there. But is it worth diving? Hey, congratulations, Awkward Turtle, on your first Stealth A victory. I'm so happy for you, man. What a great feeling. Diving is never a joke in Sector 1 because the ASB can do 3 damage, so if you take a 3 damage to your 3 engines, you're out of commission, and then if you can't get your repairs done, GG. Much safer to dive late than early. Nice gets dead. Hey, I call this game of the decade. Glad, uh, glad the stream got you back into it. This game has such a high um, skill cap. I learn something new almost every time I play. Every run's a little bit different. Heavy Ion to keep their weapons down until you can boost out, I believe. You know what, Tafty Apple? That's a pretty uh, pretty good strat. Let's think about that. Really, if we get a Burst Laser 2 or Flak, we're fine anyways. So, let's head down there. Y you sold me on it, Tafty Apple. And nothing. Okay, well, we can sell anti-personnel. We can really sell both the anti-personnels and the drone reactor booster. Oh! Let's hold off on doing that, then. <laughs> Automated reloader, okay. I guess these aren't the stores for me. Reloader looks good, but it's it's not. It, it's a death trap. We want to get engines here. If we had double manas, I could probably justify crew teleporter. Didn't quite do it for me, Living. I'm not gonna say I didn't like the game because I didn't play it for long enough. I just didn't enjoy it enough to continue playing tonight, at least. Felt a little bit disorienting with the way the, uh, the camera moved and slowed down. My brain just didn't get it. Really nice soundtrack in that game, and I think overall, uh, good design just wasn't for me. Okay, we're going to buy at least two engines, right? I mean, that's bare minimum. Roland Rizzo's the two-year subscriber icon or slugs, which is a race in this game. Two-year subscribers on this channel live the slug life. Okay, well, really glad we got two shields here. This is a huge death trap otherwise. Wow, it took down their ion for me. I hope they end up coming out with longer uh, loyalty badges. Maybe one day. Bummer, Mike Mary. Maybe you were just born a manis. And the badges aren't working perfectly since release. But, uh, 
overall, I think it's a really cool feature for channels. Look forward to seeing how it evolves and uh, probably switching it up uh, eventually. I got a good idea when they add some more tiers. Okay, empty jump. Let's, uh... So now I have the option of double heavy ioning, which I think is uh, valid. Okay. I think we're eating at least one missile here, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> Gonna fire these at the same time, because our goal is just to get out of here. Okay, one missed, fair enough. Twenty-five percent dodge. Yes. Oh, ASB missed too. Oh my goodness, is this happening? Please don't. Don't do this. Well, at this point, it doesn't matter. Bring the O2 on, huh? That's nice. Into the Uncharted Nebula or into Rock Control. Probably Uncharted Nebula this early. We got 19 fuel after all. Hey, Jacob Rogers, congratulations on your first Risk of Rain victory. That's awesome, man. What character did you get your win with? Tell me about your run, man. Kind of a weird, uh, weird sector layout here. Uh, tater chops. I try to choose the path that's going to allow me to see the most, uh, the most jumps possible. That's all you can really do. One, two, three, four. Okay, I guess the tickets coming back through this way or going down this way works too. Got options. This is kind of the key, key jump. Oh, let's get in there. That ship has no defense happening. Let's hope the heavy laser hits here. We'll see. Nice. They're going to cloak now. They're dead next time, though. All right, Galaxy Overlord. Uh, guys, uh, just started playing Mr. Rain. Having trouble killing the Magma Worm and Wandering Vagrant. Any tips? Uh, Magma Worm, good luck. <laughs> Try to save your uh, one of your evasion ability for, for dodging. Uh, usually him coming at you after he bursts out of the ground. And keep moving. The trick, for, the trick for the Wandering Vagrant is the only thing that can really hurt you on the Jellyfish is when he shoots out those orbs, and you only have to be moving a little bit to avoid those. So when you see the orbs go out, uh, start moving, and they shouldn't hit you. Okay, I'm going to buy level 2 piloting right now, and the reason we're going to do that is if we run into the event where we can uh, use our piloting to search the wreckage, we'll be in a good spot. Nope. Where's the stuff, man? Attempt to follow and help him. Darn, they're gone. Bamboozle. Attack that pirate. Whoa, dude, you got a flat cannon on there? Not cool.
Heavy Ion does uh, twice the damage, so four damage to the shield here. I guess Heavy Laser could be better if they both hit, but who knows. Hey, thanks for being here, Kappa. Appreciate you stopping by. Glad I could be here for you tonight. Okay. If we get one Ion to hit, we're good. And we're going to load up the Heavy Laser behind that. Not yet. Don't worry, O2's for closers. Nice. I only wish I could see what's going on. Okay, okay. You guys can have some O2. Don't say I never gave you anything, crew. What's up, you Zora Nice guy? Nailed it, Barking Whale. Keep that Humanitis off the ship. Third Monkey, welcome to the Damper. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. You are awesome. Hey, man, Small Bomb's a legitimate weapon. Unfortunately, we only have two missiles, but that may not always be the case. Double heavy ion for crew kills is a possibility, right? I suppose. Yeah, I guess we could versus uh, very select ships. So the ships we haven't we've run into so far have uh, not been those. I just want to see everything to make sure we're getting a good chance at our stores. We're gonna go one, two, three, uh, then over this way. Great question, Captain Frig. I think cloaking is probably best, but uh, hacking also can be very good. Federation sees tough. It's really just about getting weapons. Um, hacking or cloaking both both work. Attack the pirate again. Nice. Nice, reasonable pirate here. Oh, interesting. Nate, dig it out. Well, thanks for keeping it damper, dude. Imploding muffins. Welcome back to the damper. Thanks for subbing with Twitch, Brian. Appreciate that continued support. Hey, oh. Got him. All right, system repair. Do your job. Not a bad deal. I'm going to ignore their pleas and attack. First time subscriber, okay, and plenty muffins. Well, my bad. Uh, thank you, man. Holy crap, heavy laser's really good here. Welcome to the Dapper in that case. Thanks for being a part of the channel and community for so long. Thank you all for the love and support you show me. Uh, whether you're able to subscribe, give bids, or not, uh, not support the channel at all, your time here is the most important thing. Don't feel like because you can't support monetarily that your time here doesn't matter. I appreciate you very much for the time you're spending here uh, contributing. With that being said, let's do a lurker roll call right now. If you're lurking in the channel, meaning you're an active watcher but not an active chatter, now is your time to make yourself known by posting some of your favorite emotes. Lurkers are the lifeblood of all of Twitch TV, but none more so than my own channel. Thank you for your silent contribution watching the background. No matter what you may do, uh, watch them all and whine in for bed, play in other games, just chilling. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Lurker love, lurker life. Love my chatters, but... Uh, Lurkers make it a career. You guys are beautiful. J-Hole 503, welcome to the Dapper. Much love. Look at all those Lurkers. Fail name, thanks for the two great years.
This is extremely destructive in Sector 2 anyways. Let's let our oxygen top off here. That was a great lurker roll call. Thank you everybody for that, uh, for that love. Okay, this is fine. Let's attack that ship. I'll wait for the heavy eye on here. We got plenty of time. The heavy ion does hit. We get four damage past, uh, eight damage in total, while the shield is down. Mm. Probably won't end up keeping the heavy laser unless we get hacking or something, or the two heavy lasers. But <laughs> it's really nice right now for sector two, sector three. This weapon system's great for four power. Incredibly destructive. And Daru, thanks for the four consecutive months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. <laughs> you got there. The legend's real. Help that man. He's surrounded by humanitis. Save that man in the chat. Repugnant, arm the weapons. You can't just go around calling people repugnant. That ship could hurt me if I didn't have two shields. So, so the we were a ticking time bomb for O2 there, but uh, double heavy laser comes in clutch again. Hey there. Um, yeah, we got lots of stuff to sell here. Yeah, let's go right to the store. Why not? I need something to replace this heavy eye. Maybe I just buy the charge laser right now to simplify my life and get four lasers online. I really don't want to spend money on that, though. I'd rather just buy hacking. Maybe we can run the triple heavy laser one hacking dream. Okay, we're going to sell small. I'm going to sell this extra heavy ion. Um... Okay, we'll sell a system repair now. I suppose chain laser wouldn't be terrible. Would take longer to, to roll up, though. Be more of a bummer versus two shield ships. I'm going to have faith there's going to be another store with a weapon or maybe hacking or something. I don't want to spend 55 on a charge laser with only a three slot weapon. We got to replace stuff with stuff that's way better.
The first two shield ship we run up into is uh, heavy ion, heavy laser, heavy laser. We're going to have a pretty bad time, though, I think. Oh, what a choice. All right, I'm going to go with my gut here and hold. Worst case scenario, we can go a very defensive build, but I really hope there's another uh, another store. Uh, let's prepare to fight. Ready? This guy has no idea. Hey, what's up, Smooth Robbie? I think the best thing we could find right now would be a flak, because flak, uh, heavy laser, heavy laser can carry us for a bit, especially if you get, like, hacking. Okay, there we go. Our patience was rewarded. I shouldn't say that because we haven't seen this at the store yet. Well, then. Uh, triple heavy laser. I mean, I, I could try to make that work. It's pretty good. You gotta think if you have a chance for breach fire and stun with triple heavy laser, that you could probably make something pretty cool happen. But I don't be able to pass three shields without hacking, yeah. That's the problem. Just keep trying, Dangerfield. If you've got it down to the very last health, uh, you're going to get there. Most important thing for uh, the last ship is uh, d disabling the shields quick. Uh, is usually a good strat. Don't try to fire weapons. Get the shields down and kill it as quickly as possible. Cloaking's the single best thing you can have for the last ship. When you hear the warning noise, it goes womp, womp, womp. If you have a little two cloaking after that third noise, you can cloak under that, and it'll cloak under the uh, super shield. Um, also, with your cloaking, don't fire your weapons while you're cloaking under, like, the drone phase for phase two, because it will shorten the duration of your cloak. Trajan Hammett, thanks for the 18 consecutive months. Much love, man. I think I can justify the flak too here. Okay, I'm going to justify the flak too. I don't think it's the right choice. When's the last time we bought a flak too? It's a pretty great upgrade, and uh, what I'm liking about this, uh, once we get it online, of course, is that uh, it's a complete weapon system through like sector five. We got seven projectiles backed up with four damage worth of lasers. So now we can worry about buying defense for the most part. I don't have to really worry about anything else. Just get that defense on point. Hey, my pleasure, Dangerfield. Just keep trying, man. You'll get that win, and trust me, the feeling you'll get when you get your first FTO victory, it's worth it. Took me more than 30 hours to get my first win, so. Don't feel bad about it. Mogmine, thanks for the 35 consecutive months. Much love. Uh, I don't think I make that.
Have you seen this little baby kitty? Oh man, I got big boy purrs there. He is rolling. Stretch it out, Winston. What a goody boy. Okay, the Manus is mind-controlled in the weapon room. That's definitely not ideal. Okay, I'm going to do that. Hey, I miss it too, Zaxius. Honestly, having an alert play when like, somebody subscribes and stuff is uh, quite convenient uh, when you're a broadcaster. It really changed the way that I was able to interact, but uh, it got other tools available now, like event lists and things like that, which make communication a lot easier. Well, notifications are cool when you guys uh, show me so much support, I think it can be kind of uh, disrupting to the broadcast too. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate it. Also made an adjustment how I like uh, reading, uh, reading notifications. Before my goal was always to respond as quickly as possible to like resubs or bits or anything else. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, now my goal is to respond uh, at the most appropriate time so I can verbalize myself the best. That should be a pretty, uh, pretty interesting shift over the past week, uh, not using the uh, the sounds anymore. That's overall been positive. Can't go wrong with gameplay and commentary. And kitties. Can't go wrong with kitties. Wow, boarding drone sells for thirty something. That's a really nice sector too. <laughs> it's an abomination. Gotta go Zolt and home runs. What a really awkward sector layout. How do we want to do this? I guess it's not that awkward. How we deal with this portion? Uh, that doesn't connect down. So probably take this jump just to see if there's going to be a store there. And then work our way up here through these and then back down. Ooh. This will work out okay. We have enough ways to get over here. This isn't as good as it seemed, though. That's a dead end. Halberd beam. Uh, that shouldn't damage us, but it definitely can. You know, they have two shields, so I guess I've got a gotta take it okay it's not going for weapons which is all I really needed Should, could just go for the, the weapon destruction, but they're going to have an engineer. I guess if we wreck the weapons, even with an engineer repairing, they're not going to get that halberd beam off before we fire the flak again. 
So while I want to disable shields, uh, getting weapons down is going to be the safest call. What? I disagree. Okay, good we dodged there. That's nice. Is that so bad? Good job, crew. God, I love FTO. The more I think about it, buying the flak 2 really was the right choice there. It's not going to make for an easily winnable run, but it does complete our weapon system. Nailed it, Digital Vortex. Well, I gotta, I gotta... It's too good. Alright, that is a big old missile launcher. There's nothing I can do about that. Hey there, humanitis. Right in the shields, eh? Denied. Uh, I think one more will do it here. Get him, got him, good. You heard a breach? If there was one, the system repaired be on it. Uh, maybe it got there. Or you mean I breached their ship? That's even better. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Here's the Zoltan home real quest. We got chance at Zoltan shield here. That would certainly make our flak two so much better. An unarmed Zoltan transfer vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This is a Zoltan peace envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. I'll hear these guys out. They continue. We take your silence for interested contemplation. We talk at length about peace and harmony, but it's either beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. They finish. Please spread the word of enlightenment to those that have not heard. Once you have, contact our brethren. They transmit coordinates of their so-called brethren. Well, their brethren live right next to a store. How convenient for me. Zanny, thanks for those 25 bits. That winking cap is so sly. Manus A is a very difficult ship, uh, Rash knew. I'd rate it on the lower scale of uh, the medium ships. It's definitely... Uh, really, to execute on Manus A, it's all about really nailing your boarding strategies and maximizing the amount of scrap you can get. One thing you can do on the Manasse is upgrade into level 2 or even 3 teleporting somewhat early to board multiple people or multiple sets of people.
for me, most Manus A runs go pretty smoothly in the beginning with a small bomb and boarding, uh, or somewhat turbulent, and then very scary to get enough offense to actually beat the flagship. Keep trying, you'll get there. Okay, I'm going to go through these two store quest and then down here, I think. No, we got to go here first. Okay. We well, got a reason to fire our lasers here. Have mercy, little missile. 27% dodge. Carry me here. Boom, bam, blamma. Was that our breach or theirs? Oh, theirs, of course. We have a system repair drone. Silly me. So I think the logical pickup here to continue this run is going to be cloaking of some sort. If we can cloak under the first volley, we can get our flag off, which should disable their weapons in most cases. Gritchnog, thanks for the 200 bits. Cheers to you. Appreciate your generosity, man. Defense drone's very good on this ship, too. Okay, we'll sell the boarding drone, 100%. Well, hacking and defense drone are both very good. I think defense drone's probably better. We get defense drone, three shields, we're, we're pretty well off. Yeah, I can't turn this down. Let's buy repairs while they're still cheap. Buy a fuel. One of your finest fuel, please. I brought five scrap, but I'm only willing to pay three. Do we risk losing a crew at this venture? I think we just might. Inside the nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface, a huge monolith visible at distance, even to the naked eye. A Zoltan Elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent, you have discovered the Great Eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desserts. A 25% chance to lose crew. Okay. Nice. As you approach, an ancient alien voice speaks to you. Your mission has brought you great battles and great losses. This will help ease the pain. A few minutes later, someone reports medical equipment has appeared on the ship. Okay. Just cruised on in there. That was good. You arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan. But the only thing nearby is the rebel ship, closing in fast. We found you. You're not getting away this time. Let's hail these guys. They open communications. I can't imagine there's anything you could say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete Federation. Perhaps there could be reconciliation of our ideals without war. Our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could end with a war? You know how these are Zoltans are using the word reconciled. That's how you know. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away and a Zoltan fleet appears around the ship. They bought it, guys. They bought it. Yeah. Yeah, open. 
Open the bay. They're gonna ship some stuff over. It's good. Nice. Hey there, envoy. Envoy's fully trained, so he's gonna be the weapon guy now. Get that Flak 2 firing even faster. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Zoltan shield, but we did get a much-needed crew. Still a very nice find. Another store? Oh boy, uh, you come to a quiet part of Zoltan space and encounter an ancient Zoltan wise man who has managed to harness the power of a spatial rip, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Happens every time. Choose your doom, he demands. This is all part of a day's work. I think we want to fight Rockman here, because we have a chance of using our defense drum versus their missile. Uh, Manus could also be okay. Manus are... Let's take Manus. Manus are generally uh, weaker equipped, but we'll board you. Dang, I can't I can't save my system repair drone. That sucks. Nice, my flak took out his missile. Like a good flak. Safe to say they're not boarding again. When he sees you emerge victorious, the Zoltan wise man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart until instead the Zoltan implodes, sending a blast wave of scrap and salvage dragged here from distant worlds in your direction. That's a mighty tantrum there, little fella. Thanks for the scrap. Hey, yo. Oh, dude. Okay, so we got Flak 1 sitting here. We got some choices to make. Do I commit to this offense? I think we just might. Oh, dude. Hacking's so sick. Oh, no. Too many choices. All right, guys, tell you what, I got to really think about what to do this store. I'm going to leave this uh, store page open. So I think this is where we're going to be buying from. Hacking's tempting. We definitely don't need it right now. Going to take a very short break here. I'm just going to stand up, stretch. I'll probably pet this kitty a bit. There will be no ads during this break. However, if you do any shopping on Amazon.com, please consider using Amazon affiliate link. All you have to do is enter through that link and uh, do your normal shopping on Amazon.com. Easy peasy. Cost you absolutely nothing extra. We'll be back in just a minute. What a good, what a good kitty. Yeah, it's normal for toes to bend like that. Sure, Winston. What a good boy.
All right, thank you so much for your patience. You think replacing FLAC 2 with FLAC 1 and get auto reload would make for a nice fast system? I think that's a fair argument, Argbla. That's a pretty decent option. How much would FLAC 2 sell for? FLAC 2 sells for 40, so we get get the, the FLAC 1 for 25 scrap. We have a built in protection system as well to get another weapon in. I guess the only problem with that is we're losing uh, four projectiles. Now, five projectiles for the foreseeable future should be more than enough, especially if we pick up hacking or something. Uh, Xtor, I believe that's a welcome back to the Dapper. Much love and thanks for that support via subscription. You are amazing. I believe during Rake, uh, Starstream Trans, thanks for the four consecutive months. You are wonderful. I think maybe just a reloader here is what I'm going to get. I also have the option of just straight up buying three shields right now. 
Three shields and a defense drone going into sector four. It's pretty good. We got a fully trained weapon guy anyways. Oh, flak one, heavy laser, heavy is pretty good. I thought about this a lot during the break, too. I just don't know, though. Can also drop a heavy laser one for a flak. I don't know. Afro Man 54, thanks for the two consecutive months, man. Glad you enjoyed the content. Appreciate you. Cooldown on Flak 2 is 21 seconds. Flak 1 plus 2 heavies don't do it for the flagship unless, uh, unless we're going into it with hacking. Nerdling, welcome to the damper. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. of cats. Thanks for the two consecutive months. Much love. Alright, thinking about this, I think actually getting the flak is is good. We'll sell the heavy laser. Buy the flak one. Buy the weapon power for it. We got the power. Um, System repair has been doing pretty good here. I don't think I want to give them up yet. Flak 1 Heavy Laser will be fine for a minute. Just need to get a few more scrap. Then we can have our Flak, uh, flak 1 active as well. No reloader here. Uh, we can't afford the reloader. Holy crap! A weapon just floating in space. Trust me on this one. We're not going to buy the reloader. Reloader is almost always a trap in hard mode, in my opinion. If we didn't have to buy the flak, then the reloader is a no-brainer. But since we had to buy this flak cannon, not so much. So flak 1 heavy laser works a lot better than double heavy laser, because you can get through three shields instead of uh, one. We can also fire the flak and heavy laser on the first volley, and it'll be back online for the second volley of the flak too. It also times out extremely well with uh, hacking timings later on. WSF Power, thanks for the great two years. Thanks for being a part of the channel and community for so long. Squatch Baka, thanks for the 10 months, man. Holy guacamole. You guys are too much. Um, NG controlled sounds good with an NG. This is a wacky build, man. I like it, though. I think three shields is a solid next way to spend our next 100 scrap. There's no reason we should have to upgrade this weapon system. We got 11 projectiles in total, so we're set up for a late game. We're a bit slow, but if we have the defense to back this up, we're, uh, we're crushing it. Byru, welcome to the damper. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. You are amazing. Yeah, what's your offer? They're going to tell me I'm not equipped for this. Because they can't board their ship. I'm just going to decline. Dun, 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 dun. 
Okay, missile launcher, cool. Shield hacking, not so cool. Now the fire drone, uh, rocking that. Not so, not so happy there. It's only a later, I'll tell myself. I should be pausing to time that out there, but you live, you learn, you know. There we go. Imagine that with hacking, slamming down the piloting. I can't give you anything, Indies. I'm broke. I invested in this kick-ass weapon system. Sorry, guys. Good luck. Srogue, thanks for the 16 consecutive months, sir. Great to see you. And Coda, 11594. Thanks for the 31 consecutive months, sir. Thanks for keeping it dapper. Yeah, we really do have the deeps right now. We got very, very potent offense. I will accept your surrender. Cool. Uh, is it time for the store yet? Probably not. and welcome to the damper. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. Much love. Jinx, 1292, thanks for the two consecutive months. Unreal. You receive a message from a nearby station. A Federation cruiser jumping into rebel territory. Quite the bold move. You quickly move to arm the weapons, but he continues. Lucky for you, we're not all in support of the rebellion. Perhaps these supplies will help you get to friendlier space alive. Get back to work, you lazy scallywag. Indeed you have, Twitch Lurker. Thanks for lurking, man. Yeah, okay, let's check it out. Dude, unreal. Flak 2, Flak 1, Pike Beam is pretty great. Unscottable. Blue, that's a welcome back to the damper. Much love. Thanks for that support via subscription. You are awesome. Uh, can we get it online right now? It's 90 to get it online. <laughs> Uh, Flak 2 we're not gonna do. So we grab Flak 2 here, we're really weak to getting any damage to the weapons. However, Flak 2, Flak 1, Flak 1, with the aspirations of getting a Flak 2, I think is a, a fair idea. But since we can't straight up uh, it, install this right now, and we're delaying our uh, our shield to get it, Tough. Well, 
Hopefully we can still get our uh, shield online in time. Nah, who needs defense? Yes, split up. Some ships have three and some ships have four uh, weapon systems. Also, most ships have two drone slots. So this one has three weapons, which is one less, but one more drone slot. Explore that asteroid field. Free fuel. I don't think we're taking this prime. wait for the full volley here since the engineer ship type is so small uh, so compact the defense drone is very good at hitting them so we're gonna actually fire at shields here instead to maybe give our uh, flak heavy laser a chance generous prime six fuel though we gotta think about this the assassin a23 welcome to the damper thanks for subbing the twitch prime much love i have a feeling winnigan's might be slightly behind on the video so i mean this was out of place for a bit anytime you see somebody not where they should be it's probably just a simple mistake That's a lot of fuel though. Bring us up to 20. Nah, die pirate scum. Cool. It's just enough, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, system repair. I may regret this. This this run's already been so damn greedy. Why not make it happen? The flackening begins now. Really, the store doesn't help us out very much. We just committed to, yeah, the, the dream. I need to get three shields online immediately. As far as the run surviving, that's really a bad investment. But I just wanted to see this uh, online. Investigate the battlefield. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're going to leave that alone. I like my crew right now. No clone bay. That's a problem. No, thank you. Hail them. Hey! Okay, so they boarded into O2. It sounded just like one, right? Just, just some humanitis. Okay, that didn't work out so good.
Okay, we got there just in time. Thanks to Envoy being fully trained, that happened. Uh, that's not a bad deal, but... It's not feeling very merciful today, I'm sorry. Hey, Sinvicta, great to see you, man. Urns are going awesome. Thanks for stopping by. And the drones this time. Get him, got him good. control okay all right sector five two shields at least we have three engines and a defense drone and we have a ton of flak need 100 scrap though to uh, turn this into a dream Let's get in there. This could hurt. Please only level one. That's more than level one. Okay. Uh, do I have time to drop the shields here? I don't think so. No. It's okay. Um, I don't know if I have time here. I am fully trained, but if I fire the flak too and then they cloak under it, we have a really bad time. <sighs> okay, I'm glad I didn't fire. That still hurt, though. Three shields would make this fight uh, so much safer. Ooh, not very much on the weapon room there. Okay. Everything's fine. Taste the pep. Be the pep. All right, 34 scrap. Shame we didn't get the double reward there, but can't have everything. Okay, that's pretty weak. Let's fire at least the first volley in here. Uh, I'm gonna load up the defense drone as well. I don't really want to deal with the boarding drone right now. Oh, okay, the point I was trying to make earlier is since the NG ship is so compact, uh, the defense drone is more effective on this ship type than it is others. So like a bigger ship, like the Federation A, which is a long vessel, the defense drone's orbit is much longer. Okay, we got fire in the O2. Let's just vent that real quick. Okay, fire's out. Close the doors. Open the doors. Start the repair with this guy.
chunked and dumped. A 19? I'm not giving you nothing. Sorry, NGs. I'm about to have three shields, which might save my run. Woza! Okay, what's up, Manus? It's actually a pretty scary ship, especially with uh, only... Whoa. Only two shields. Really have to hope my flak hit actually hits their weapons here. Wow! Okay. That's, uh, that's interesting. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here is drop two power uh, out of this so we don't lose our flag timing here. We're gonna run these guys to the med bay. I'm gonna run him into this room. We're gonna open the doors except for this. Okay, we're gonna swap these guys' position. Okay, they're on their way. We're going to close the doors and then open them again. Please hit. Thank you. Still not great, but better than nothing. Med bay's not hit. Weapons are, though. Fair enough. Go again. <laughs> okay, O2 going down there is definitely unfortunate. What I give for that system repair drone now, we're at 11% oxygen, so we'll reach critical mass pretty darn quick. On a good note, this is going to be the last time they're going to board us. Okay. Got it. Easy peasy. Ooh. Now taste that pepper. Hey, people luck. What's happening, dude? Welcome aboard. I don't even care if it's a store next jump. That's what we're buying. We already overextended way hard. Whoa, uh, 
Turn the toe to on, sir. Everything's fine. Take a nice deep breath of space. It's refreshing. Remind you you're alive. You gotta let the crew know they're mortal every once in a while. Can't have them getting a big head. And now a wait for acceptable auction levels, which is about 52%. Search for that ship. 44 scrap a doodle. Of course, there's a store there. That's okay. We're going to head up here. I'd like to buy a repair here, but we're really right where we want to be. We recovered to our three shields. We got flex power for the defense drone as well. Do, do, do. Yeah, I gotta figure where to put that uh, pilot. Investigate the battlefield. Finally, we got something from that. Um, he's fully trained on piloting. Are you even trained, Gizmo? Ooh, not quite. Let's put uh, Gizmo on doors here and just rotate. Intruder, scary. Taste the pep. Be the pep. Hey, now. That was my favorite defense drone. Cutter, 48200. Thanks for the 16 consecutive months, sir. Glad you could be here tonight, man. Much love. Enemy FTL charging. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Long range scanner augment. Wowza, wowza. All I could do at the store is buy a repair, then we have to jump right into a sun. I think that's what we do, though. One, two, three, four. Gonna make it here? Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Maybe a fuel and repairs. Hello again, automated reloader. Torv, thanks for the five consecutive months, sir. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Alright, hey there, Zoltan ship. Are you ready for the pepperin? Wow, double ion fire drone inside the sun. Legit. This guy came to play. There we go. Nice and safe. Let's play Find the Fire! One fuel, one missile, please. 
I mean, I believe it, but no. You're not getting out of here for that. Um, I don't know. It's a sketchy, sketchy ship, man. Hopefully we have to hit something here. I, mean, I want to load up the defense drone, but I think having the evasion is going to be just overall better. Whew. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Cutter 48200. Thanks for the 1500 bits, man. Appreciate your generosity, sir. Glad you're glad to be here, because I'm glad to be here, too. Every day is a blessing. Just uh, grateful for this opportunity to be here with y'all. Thanks for making it possible. Wow, an exit store? That's crazy. There's actually a legit dive we can do here, but I don't have the, uh... Let's think about this for a second. Do I have anything to sell? I don't. I have hackings right there. That kind of completes our system. It's a tough one. Hey, Laugh Mega J, thanks for being here, dude. I see ya. Glad the uh, stream can help you through a tough time. I'm happy to hear that. Hope you feel better soon. Um. Yeah, okay. No no regrets then. Let's buy three fuel, a couple repairs, and feel good about it. Investigate. Communicate peacefully. Nice. Fully trained. Shield engineer. What a gent. <laughs> this Manus keeps getting pushed around. All right, Manus is going to be the O2 bodyguard. good bswt i just think you're uh, very enthusiastic about the event no harm done man it was a wall of text but uh, no hard feelings dude i am happy that you're passionate about something a long range scanner is gonna gonna help here Huts, more like putts. Whoa, Shermanic. Come on now. The guy just joined the crew. We don't need to, to rag at him. Hello there. I've got a plan. All right, we're gonna we're gonna vent over here. And we're going to make the next closest room that has O2 the med bay. Oh, no, we're going to make it the shield room, then the med bay. So we're venting out from both sides. The quickest path that we get to O2 is going to be through here and then to the shield room. So they'll go there after that runs out.
Or not. That is also cool. Alright, slow up that O2. Uh, maybe we just slam shields here and then go for weapons. I think so. Give him a good old chunkin'. Everything's going to be just fine. Hey, sit back, relax, enjoy, Lightwalker. Cutter, we've played quite a bit of variety over the past, uh, I don't know, long while now. Format for the past couple of weeks has been a couple different games a night, but we don't have any set format. The staples are the staples of the channel. But I'd say the variety's been, uh, as far as amount of variety, has been better than ever for the past six months or so. We just kind of do whatever. I make no guarantees other than I will play a game that uh, I want to, I'm enjoying. Mm -hmm. Okay, we gotta pause here and get the flak open right away. Slam to weapons here is what we want. With the doors again. Okay, well, let's roll up this way then. Send in the NG tanking squad and uh, open these doors. This time they're gonna go to the med bay, watch it. Just wait for it. Maybe leaving the O2 is the open room is the way to go. Yeah, they went to the med bay, those tricksters. That's what I was trying to get you to do last time, Manus. Staging somebody indoors will upgrade the doors by one level, the Mighty Zeppelin. And that can even exceed the maximum as far as systems go. So if you have level uh, three doors in man, then they actually become level four doors. That only happens while somebody's manning the system. If enemies board into there, you lose your bonus. Yeah, I think saving for cloaking here is the right choice. Also, this is a really weird sector layout. I don't want to. I don't want to miss out on stuff. Gotta follow that uh, scrap trail, though. Oh my God, it's real! Thanks for the eleven consecutive months. Much love. Enemy FTL charging. I think actually going for shields here is good, because we might get some collateral damage on the engines. A little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go for piloting here, I think. Ooh, jump imminent deny. Okay, one good volley here should do it. Ooh. 
Need three out of seven to hit here. It's gonna happen. Oh yeah. That's the sound of chunkage. Long-range scanner. Track those guys down. They only got two shields. Easy pickets. Send out the Tickle Squad and send in the one Manus. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. 27 scrap and 6 fuel. Done. Attack that ship. Whoa there, buddy. I think we're on a load of defense drone here. Beam 2 looks a little scary to me. That was going right for, uh... Right for the med bay, unfortunately. It would have been good. Two shields again. Crazy, man. It's been a really great nebula. Get him. All right, they got me a little uh, pepper there too. Respect. Pre-igniter or cloaking, I think works here, Middle Bill. I will not accept surrender. I'm really hoping to find a store with cloaking in it because if we can time that out, we're good. Pegasus missile, that's just vendor trash. Nice vendor trash though. Well, all right. Can buy a few things. Just need 150 for cloaking. Uh, okay, attack the ship. Dear God. Defense drone on point. I lost my timing there. That's okay. Ooh, that was a close one. Take it easy there, buddy. Yeah, there's no surrendering in this situation. It's already done. Uh, sure, Rex Eternus. We've used the Artemis missile a few times in victories for sure. That was usually a starting weapon, though. Uh, I have used Pegasus before. Uh, many variations of teleporting, uh, teleporting weapons or missiles. Up here has got to be it. Yeah, it doesn't connect over. <laughs> Unfortunate. 
I have never used swarm missiles in a victory now. I've always been able to find something better to replace them with. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Yeah, firebomb runs definitely happen too. Whoa, that's uh, double manus, I believe. Yep, that's two of them. What? Uh, why did you guys go that way, though? Fair enough. If that missile somehow hit my med bay with the Zoltans in it, that would have been disastrous. But we're gonna be just fine. One more volley, they're dead. Oh, what do we want to buy here? 280. That's a lot of scrap. Let's keep pumping up those engines. All right, going to wait for our O2 to rise here. All right, seventy percent O2 should be plenty to work with. Uh, let's go, Rebel Stronghold Sector Seven. Sure, we can find the mini flagship event. Get a little practice flak in, no problem. Only downside of this is we have to take empty white jumps to. Uh, try to get that and there's probably only going to be one store here uh, luckily this is a very open layout and we should be able to see every single jump so the store should be ours why are you trying to get away there little fella Okay, I don't know if the next volley gets him. Whoa there, buddy boy. Thank goodness. Man, I really should have fired this first, but I didn't. We had a chance to get one volley off there and potentially get some damage, but I missed my timing window. Worked out pretty decent. Engines are down now, too. We're set. <laughs> yeah, Jane lets me get a rat, too. Yeah, she does. A little tasty treat for little Jim Jims. Is this one trying to get away too? Nah. Just hanging out. Just chilling. Oh no, anything 
but a med bay. Dak Meg, thanks for the 25 consecutive months. Much love. There we go. Fair play. I will be getting a rat for a very long time. Maybe one day. What is this sector right now? Unbelievable. Uh, I think I might just forsake the uh, Rebel Stronghold event. This has to be the single most lucrative thing I've ever seen. Is that going to be seven ship fights in a row? What? How about we compromise and leave this jump out? Because if one of these is a store, we want to jump to it. Leaves us a few more options. Alright, Combat 2, Combat 1 is not playing around. This is scary. Okay, we got the combat two down. That helps a lot. I'm not running. Combat drones are very good, DLM. If you get multiple combat drones uh, in conjunction with pretty much anything hacking or weapons, it's very powerful. All right, now we can uh, fire at shields here. Finally. You know they're pretty good when you're 13 projectiles, just don't quite cut it. Nice ship. There are plenty of good times running FTL, and I, I definitely, if we started taking damage to weapons or engines or something, I would have been out of here in a flash. But as is, we only took damage to this empty room. Boom, bam, blammo. No storm. Intervene and defend the outpost. Wow, and finally a ship that's not like trying to board us or do anything else crazy. That's nice. Wonder if auto fire is actually viable here. Let's see. I think they're slightly off timing, but it won't be that much, right? Nah. Ideally, we'd line up after here too, but it's okay. Anti-ship beam drone 2 Also known as the savior of phase 3 
Thank you. 406 crab. Whoa. Unbelievable. This ship could be scary, but I don't think it is. This build is kind of begging for hacking right now. Probably only one uh, store in this sector. We'll see if we get it. If we don't, we're going to have a really amazing defense. Just keep going for weapons here. Oh, come on, man. That was rude. We were doing so good. This run's gone pretty good, Elusive. the store finally I'm not giving up the store I guess I can go one two maybe even three four though okay, we've got 453 scrap on hand let's uh, let's uh, let's spend some I mean really we could get hacking and cloaking at a store that is a possibility we only need level one hacking to make this build sing whole repair drones also a possibility um, okay, let's buy a value point in weapons. So no matter what we do, that's going to be good. Keep those flax rolling. Arguably much better things we can buy there, but that's what I chose. Better than just holding on to all the scrap. So many automated ships this run. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, Gooba. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, come on there, buddy. All right, it's going to be a jump imminent situation here. Okay, well, I'm going to jump away before he jumps away to show him who's the real coward he is for not getting away in time. Space Justice. Why is everybody trying to run away from me? I just want to have a reasonably good time. Okay, we got enough split damage there. There's actually going to be a... Whoa! Look who just got liquefied. That guy. Holy crap. Well, there goes my crew. Oh, man, don't do this to me, though. We got him. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, he's dead. Let's uh, repair up and get to that store, huh? I know it's hard to repair the engines with all that Zoltan juice all over the consoles, but you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Get in there, everybody. 
clean up that mess. buy the weapon pre-igniter now before I remember how bad it's going to be to buy. This way, uh, I keep it chill. If I don't think about it too much, then uh, nothing bad will happen. Um, do I even want to buy repairs? Who do I bank on getting a repair station? Probably. With cloaking pre igniter, there's no reason I should need a repair. Okay, uh, let's also buy this guy. I know, first humanitis, but he's just gonna be the engine guy. No repair here. Because we're going into sector A, so we get a 10 repair when we reach the end of this sector. And then there's uh, 15 repairs at uh, all the uh, repair stations. All right, man, let's go. Let's go on it to win it here. We already invested in the pre-igniter, so why not? I still have to buy some value point stuff here and power for drones, but uh, let's get in there, man. It's a lot of ions, friend. So much ion. No force shield here for sure. Here comes the cloaks. Oh, since we had the reload, I think we could have fired again there. It's okay, we just need one good hit on weapons. Okay, they're gonna do a triple shot here. Six ions. Why isn't this firing? You can do it. Let's see if these land or not. I think they will. Well, I mean, they could have landed. Black one is three shots, Florix. There's a lot of fake uh, fake shots on Flak too. Uh, Dark Twinge has a great video on exactly how Flak works. It one did land. Okay, cool. Well, that's a, that's a start. Good things are happening. Anti-combat drone, whatever you say. Nearby sun, possible ship. Let's try to take these uh, empty jumps. It could be the uh, the mini flagship event. Surely this is going to be it. Yes! You arrive at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard. Scaffolding construction drones filling the sector. 
The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. The nearby planets and moons ruthlessly mine to harvest the resource for a ship of immense size. Have ourselves a little peek -see. Whoa, they double boarded. It's like they knew. Wow, that was close there, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see what you did there, sir. Trying to shuffle on in and kill my banus. While the second flagship was not yet finished, it doesn't make the battle any less of a victory. And you've crippled the rebels' fleet strength considerably. Well, you don't overstay your welcome. You quickly salvage choice bits of metal drones and even an unusual object or two from the wreckage of a pair to jump. Nice. As you are leaving, you detect an interesting Federation ship signal. Apparently, the Rebels were reverse engineering the advanced weaponry on a prototype Federation cruiser. You don't know how they captured the ship intact, but you program its FTL try to return the ship to the nearest Federation base. You just hope it gets there unharmed. Sneaky little devil there. Tickle Squad, activate! Tickle Power Punch! Go repair that breach, human. Okay, you did it, though. You're a big boy now. Okay, the double uh, delay means we can actually get these two jumps in, which is great. More scrap. Okay, we know for sure we're going to need some more power here. Let's just buy three power bars. Seems reasonable. That's it for now. Hey, Elusive. You days you can at work, man. Thanks for tuning in. Nearby sun, no problem. Doors 2 is definitely a possibility. Oh, it's just an intruder event. Interesting. Okay, well, they're breaking down the shields. Is it just two? No, they're also in the med bay. Get in the med bay. All right, Tickle Squad's activated. These guys are now in the shield room. Get them! Get them! Another store? Unbelievable! Gotta risk it for the biscuit. Oh, let's just uh, deactivate this. No problem. Well, we don't really need to see the rest of our sector map. We know what's happening. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. whoa. No one escapes the Tickle Squad. 
Where do you think you're going? Get back here for your tickling. Man, if we run into the wrong ship at the exit, diving could be disastrous, but I guess with a defense throne, we gotta feel somewhat safe. And if we can pick up hacking here, it's just boom, game changer. Uh, mind control's actually pretty good as well, except for we have no sensors and no slug. Darn it. It wasn't meant to be. We can sell this Pegasus now. Can sell this anti-drone as well. I still don't think we get a repair here. Should have gone to the exit first, but it's okay. Okay, we got it for the drones there. Um... I think mind control might actually be good for counter mind control on phase three. Yeah, let's buy a mind control here. I am sure. No, we're gonna we're gonna uh, bank on getting a repair station inside of sector eight. If we don't get it, it's gonna be disastrous. But uh, I think we will. Wish I could see inside their ship. Da, 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 da. Ooh. ASB missile is very fortunate. Okay, let's see what happens to the last stand. Hey, oh, we got there. Lucky me. You're right, Villanor. I should have cloaked there. All right, guys. Now that we're in Sector 8 and we have our crazy flak building, it's time to take a break and refresh. Uh, thank you all for your patience during this time. This will be our last break of the evening. Going to run three minutes worth of ads if you allow them to play. I greatly appreciate it. If you don't, I still very much appreciate your time here. However you do any shopping on Amazon.com, please consider using the affiliate. Simply enter through those links, lethalfry.com slash alingshdm. Costs you absolutely nothing extra and helps support. Easy peasy. You're all amazing. Thanks for being here. What a wonderful night it is. See you soon.
All right, we have returned. Thank you so much for your patience. Okay, everything's set up pretty good here. Um, I think value point and mind control, maybe later. Let's buy two doors here. Da, da, da. I doubt that, XO. I try to keep my breaks pretty consistent. They're rarely over three minutes for an ad break and uh, rarely over eight for a food break. But hey, man, stuff happens. Wow, sector rate store, but uh, we could get rid of long range scanners, but I don't think anything else. I think we hit the repair and get out of here. During the break, TD Kong, thanks for the six consecutive months, sir. Appreciate the great half year. I say that, but what if it was whole repair drone there? PETA, thanks for the nine consecutive months. You are awesome. It's actually uh, pretty scary. I got cloaking too, bud. It's like a pretty good spread. Okay, F fire in the engine room. Okay, we got one of the two uh, lasers down, so that's a good threshold. All right, wait for the cloak here. Okay, good. Firebomb miss. That's what I like to see. It didn't work out as good as I wanted. You know, Barroso, there's not too many missile weapons in the game that are uh, tele that aren't teleporting missiles that are all that viable, in my opinion. You, uh, you can justify swarm missiles. Pegasus missiles can also be very powerful sometimes, but generally speaking, lasers and other projectiles are going to be better than missiles. That being said, uh, firebomb can help you get crew kills. Small bomb can be really great with boarding or just a supplement to uh, some other offense. Uh, I mistimed that a bit. Of course you did. Get that fire, buddy. Paladin Lord 10, welcome back to the Dapper Man. Hope you've been awesome. saw you playing Sword of the Stars of the Pit the other day in my following directory. Didn't have time to tune in, but just cruising through, seeing what was happening. Maybe reminisce. Doing well, pal and Lord. Thanks for being here, man. Do we take one more fight for scrap here? Probably. Hey, greetings, whore. How you doing, man? Living that slug life, I see. What a chain. If we take the other fight and it's a double reward, there could be some uh, weird circumstance where we get four shields here. Uh, let's go for it. Worst case scenario, we can cloak under and then just jump to the base. We won't have cloaking for the start of the fight, though, in that case. It'd be a bummer. Okay, a nice easy ship. Hey, nice. Probably should have just fired there again. I can't afford little mix-ups like that on the flagship fight. That can be the difference between uh, making the kill before the power phase or not. No, I'm not going to take your, your offer. Just because you now see I'm surprisingly well-equipped.
Ouch, Paladin Lord. It's a tough loss. Okay, we got 170 scrap a doodle. I know I'm going to want value point in mind control later, though that's really not going to be a factor until phase three at all. We have no way to see on their ship since we don't have sensor subsystem. That could have been another argument for the store. Uh... How about we buy value points, value point here for the beam drone phase three by uh, engine power since we're not going to be using mind control. And level two cloaking is actually pretty convenient on phase two, phase three. Okay, here we go. That was an extremely good volley. Let's try to take out the, uh, well, maybe not. Let's hold off. Okay, I'm gonna fire at shields here, and then I'm gonna cloak. Then they're gonna cloak. Mistime that a bit. That's okay though. We're still uh, hacking free. Good job, defense drone. Do you think I can take out the Zoltan shield in one volley? I don't think so, Barroso. That's an interesting thought though. Oh, defense drone, you died doing what you do best. Blocking stuff. I mean, really, what a hero. What a guy. Shot down every hacking part, shot down a missile, and took the second missile with his face to save the ship. Just gonna grab the power bar here. And die doing what he loves, stopping missiles. Okay, we're gonna wait for them to jump into us for phase two now. I think we're gonna be okay on phase three and we should be rather quick on it, but we can definitely get overwhelmed. We saw that on the FTL run yesterday. Uh, that Rock B run we did, we had a pretty darn good run going offensively, and Phase 3 just ripped us apart. Now, we had Hull Repair Drone there, but it's really important that we jump into them for Phase 3, so we have a safe spot of the base to jump back to. Um, can also preload our drone here. Okay, when the shields go down, we can load the beam too for uh, some pretty great effect. More important than that, though, is making sure we cloak fully underneath the drone face. The Leprechaun, thanks for watching those answer bits. Appreciate your generosity, man. Appreciate your time. Nice cap. Triple dodge. Oh man, they didn't even make the drone phase. Too bad, so sad. Been a hot minute since I've done that. 
making it before the second drone phase happens all the time. Before the first drone phase happens, almost never. The power of the pre-igniter right there. see here oh almost one volley that's uh, much better than I thought we'd do um I guess let them run rampant here it's fine maybe not though Many CL55, thanks for the 100 bits. Cheers to you. Enjoy your badge. I think that one specifically is a very uh, nice shade of purple. Decisions, decisions. Like, what am I going to defend this with, though? See what happens here. Remove a little of their HP. Okay, you can come in there and I'll start eating you. Looks good. Whoa there, okay. Nice, it missed. Okay, they're boarding over with more here. They're gonna go to the doors, though. So, okay. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. You're done, son. Wow, one damage phase three. Did that just happen? That's miraculous. Laugh Maker J, thanks for the 15 bits, man. Cheers to you. Thank you all for your generosity. What a run.
GG. What a run. What do you think our score was on that run, guys? Uh, during Dabber Time, DDH2140, thank you for the seven consecutive months. NT Great, thanks for the 200 bits. Appreciate your generosity. Glad you enjoyed the run. That was a really uh, fun run. 5283, damn close, Paladin Lord. What a keen eye. Stats. <laughs> All right, man. Well, that's been our first five runs on this save. Maybe? How many runs have we done? Main menu. Stats. Yep. Five games played, four victories. Pretty good. We reset our save uh, five runs ago last week. Well, all right, guys, we're not done yet. We're going to do uh, a fun little cruise through of Meat Boy to finish off the night. Let me get to the save. I should really just wipe this uh, after the stream. I always forget, though. And I say this every time we, uh, we do this. We'll get there. Got to delete that save. Save game. Dot dat, get out of here. It's a little bit bigger than I want, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, it almost always crashes the first time. I've had this happen on pretty much every, uh, type of hardware I've run the game on. Uh-oh. Totally stuck. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, I have to adjust the size. You guys are snugly right next to the game. This means our size is going to be slightly off. Let's see where we're at. So, we do this and then that. So, we're, we need to be longer. Okay. Pretty close. That'll do it. There we go. So we're just gonna do a, a fun little jaunt from the forest down to the end. Keep our meat muscles in shape. We'll go ahead and grab the kid and Ogmo on our way to the end because uh, I like those two characters and I have, whoa, strats developed just around those two characters. Always feels a little bit empty trying to use Meat Boy on a, on a level you know you can go way faster with a different character. No, oh, hey, let me uh, switch my title game here real quick. We're not playing FTL anymore. Should be updated now. Da, 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 da. OK, 
Okay, that was interesting. No problem. Okay, well, that's not the way I intended to do the level, but you know, it's okay. We got there. A win's a win. That was pretty nice. Fair play, Sawblade. A little too much, fair enough. There we go. There we go. Climb that mountain. I've definitely gone deathless in the forest before, Paladin Lord. I think I have one other deathless, uh, unintentional. It's been a few hours going for deathless achievements in this game, and I found it to be a little bit frustrating, so... I just went back to playing for fun. No regrets. But I have gotten a few uh, deathless achievements, so... Uh, not intentional. trying to think for 106 percent i still think my my lowest death is like like 250 something like that hard to say we'll see what we're at at the end of this one i don't even know what's good for me for death anymore do it bishkek play it man it's a good game this game will make you a better platform player for sure Hundred percent. Whoa's uh missed that last uh thing there. There you go. Hey, nice. That was a good transfer there. What's up, good Josie? Okay, we're not gonna grab the bandage there. I always uh, do that when we're doing our little casual run. Grab the bandage. No need. Finally broke the hammer. Barely touched the edge of that. Slam dunk. <sighs> okay, I did that to myself.
<laughs> okay, let's play it a little safe then. Love that little trick. Which time is that, Sro? I always just ran the game for my own personal, see my personal best. When I started playing the game, I just wanted to get A pluses, and then I went from there into uh, finally learning how to do 106%. Such a good game. That was a real nice level. Oh, right on, Throg, yeah. I believe it. I do have like 650 hours of people. Good morning, Mr. Wonderful. Great to see you, man. Don't don't lose your head over it. Same artist uh, came to me. Good on. Edmund McMillan, uh, the art and design for this and Isaac. It should be a fun level if you're not going for the bandage at the same time. Nice. Pretty good. Could have been slightly faster. <laughs> Honestly, not much. I mean, not officially, uh, Mr. Wonderful. I definitely ran with a timer to try to improve, uh, improve my own times. Never really did uh, go for like a specific category or anything. Ran 106% the most and ended up getting good. my best was like two hours and 18 minutes, something like that. Okay, whiff that a little bit. I actually think if I ran 106%, could probably do it faster than my previous personal best, just from the runs we've done since then, just haven't felt motivated to do it. Oh yeah, that was good. Definitely an accomplishment. I was uh, happy with myself. But, uh, never use any of like the uh, other character strats. Just Meat Boy, Ogmo, uh, Kid, and a couple others for some small occasions. No crazy Nyjah strats or uh, Joseph flying through levels. Here's where we get Ogma. 
Agbo has like a more vertical double jump than horizontal. Take it. Maybe one of these days we'll do an actual 106% run to set a time. Sure is, legendary Ben. Great, uh, great sound design in this game. Great sound design, great soundtrack. Honestly, the soundtrack for the, uh, the console version, which is different than uh, the PC version, or the PlayStation 4 version has a different uh, soundtrack. Excuse me, Xbox is the same as well as PC. Uh, it's a really good soundtrack, but uh, this this soundtrack is a masterpiece by Danny Marinowski. Too hard to follow. Whoops. Almost made that look good. to use uh, Ogmo a couple times here. No, this wasn't where we use Ogmo. Next level though. Ooh, slippery rock. This run, but thank you, Leprechaun. Whiskey Fresh, thanks for the 20 consecutive months. Much love. Wow, I had never caught uh, the corner of that just like that. That was sick. I didn't even know you could get through the level like that. Thanks for keeping it dapper. What time is it in Germany? Whiskey Fresh. You gotta be nice and early, yeah? Maybe not. Hell if I know, how do time zones work? Ten thirteen, right on. Good morning to you. Mm 
That's so cool, man. People watching from all over the world. No matter where you're watching or what you're doing, thanks for being here today. Stick the landing. Well, I'm glad you can make it today, Legendary Joe. Thanks for being here, man. Oh, that happened. The real answer, Roland, rather than how I'm so positive all the time, is I work at it. It's very important to me, and it's a positive place and a positive experience for the people that watch. They're given such a great opportunity by the people on my channel and Twitch TV to uh, be able to do this nightly uh, as my employment and uh, as a great way to express myself. I absolutely love broadcasting, and I want to bring as much positivity to the people that watch my content as I possibly can. I mean, you can't have a great day every day. I'm going to bring the good vibes as much as I can. All right, it's Ogmo's time to shine. Almost. <laughs> Isn't it though, Fintaro? It's a great soundtrack. Key. I'm gonna park right here and drink, uh, drink some water. Mr. Wonderful78 does exclaim CWF in chat to bring up all the uh, cooking the frag stuff. I don't think so, Lampmaker J. I think I'm interested in buying any new consoles. Heating vent right now. What's going on? What are you doing, James? Winston was over there early. Yes, V guy, I did. That's the trick to that boss. You can stand in only one spot and uh, defeat him. Once you have that information, it's a great time to uh, take a little break, get some water in your run. 
that's really your one time to get some good hydration during a speed run. Into the Dr. Fetus fight also. A couple other times there's short breaks. Now she's guarding the vent. That's James's vent. Don't look at it. Da -da 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 hey, I got stuck in there. That's not what we're trying to do. That's better. A little late. The first time I watched a like an actual speed run of this game uh, after co completing it and practicing some strats, that strat on the previous level was one of the most amazing ones as far as my perspective. I wouldn't even thought to land there and use the jump pad like that. Another good one in the the next world that I would have never thought of. It saves like 15 seconds or something. It's amazing. Well, that happened. Oh, okay, so here we're gonna grab the kid. Get him, got him, good. So far, so good. It's happening! Oh my goodness. Deathless Kid Warp Zone. What a wonderful life. Been a long time since I've had a perfect uh, Kid Warp Zone. And that felt good. Took it a little slow there on the third one, to be fair, but we got it, Deathless. My day. Dun, dun, dun. We're just going through the inn tonight, Peter. Just a jaunt, if you will. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hey, there's the key. Thought there was one more coming for some reason. Not today, Junior. Of 
a really good, really bad. Nice triple in the salt pile. Legit. Didn't even matter. All right, now we get to start using the kid. Okay, maybe next time. Pretty good. Why am I using the kid right here? It should be back to Meat Boy. My goodness. Hey, he made it work. That's good. I guess we want the kid here anyways. Wowza, you're dead, sir. No A plus there, but that's A okay. I personally enjoyed uh, playing Afterbirth Plus so far. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just more Isaac content, so that's a great thing. I have many years of uh, playing games ahead of me in my life. I'm sure Isaac will only get better with time. Isaac is Isaac. It's the same gameplay uh, formula. It's a great formula. Oh my goodness, we almost got through there. Not so clean on level. I personally don't think it, there's any reason to be that negative about stuff because there's so many options for games to play. If you're not enjoying something right that moment, play something else. Woes up! I only play games I like. It's working out great for me.
All right, here's that skip I was talking about. Uh, the first time I watched the speed run, it just blew my mind. Oh, come on. Maybe next time. I just had to say how cool this was so I could fail at it repeatedly. Ain't that the truth, the Prixie? Oh, what a different time that was. Gaming on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I gotta say, uh, the Mexican Runner's NES Mania brought up so much nostalgia for me. There's childhood gaming, seeing some of those games that you remember playing when you were when you were young. There's super tough and unfair. As a kid, you're just playing video games. Cool, man. <laughs> I thought I could make that gap, but probably a bad idea. You just think how many more uh, games and technology and stuff we have access to now. Here, like when I was a kid playing Nintendo, it's incredible. So many games, so many different platforms, consoles, systems. So many ways to entertain yourself and be entertained. Okay, my bad. Other way, though. Right, Dr. Fetus. Doo -doo. Why would you drop down to the floor? There's four saw blades there. Please. Oh, I missed the button, though. Okay, we got the button this time. It's 
Sorry for missing it during the run there with Sam. Um, thanks for the three consecutive months. Appreciate you being a part of the community. You are wonderful. the woods yet. Oh, 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 didn't quite stick the landing there, friend. Maybe next time. <laughs> okay, overcompensated a bit. Maybe next time. Get him, got him, good. The real question is, how many deaths? Hey, 52 deaths, not bad, considering I face planted a bunch. I'll take that for a quick little run. Not too shabby at all. All right, guys, hope you had an amazing and wonderful night. I had a great time streaming for you today. Thank you so much for being here and making the content possible. We are hosting uh, Simcopter one tonight. He's playing some Stardew Valley. Hope you guys enjoy his content. I certainly do. Until next time, 7 p.m. Pacific tomorrow, keep it damper and be good to each other. That's all I got for tonight. Frag out. Much love, everybody. You are amazing. <laughs>